My people, Grace follows this woman, Naomi, everywhere she goes. As she survives, as it's alleged, my people, as it is rumored, that she survives another crash. Yes, my people. Hmm. The first time there was a time it was rumored that she was almost kidnapped. Yes, she was almost. You know, these women will not rest until their head enter there. And if all these informations we are hearing is true, then one day the heads of the enemies will surely enter into the grave. If you are Queen Naomi's fan, I want to hear you say Amen. So, my correct, correct people, I bring to you this news because uh, when I heard it, I was happy. I was so happy that at least there is someone like uh, Esther Ajayi, Reverend Esther Ajayi, that will always talk to Queen Naomi, that is strongly behind her. She understands what Queen Naomi is passing through. She understands every battle that she is facing. And she has given her her word that she's going to fight this with her till the end, till everything is cleared. Till the atmosphere is clear my people they said uh, ajayi uh, esther ajayi told queen naomi this thing that happened now that we heard my people they said as esther ajayi told her that it is going to happen yes they said she, she told her pop and plain that this yes because they said it was after um after uh, the incident of uh, a beauty queen of uh, kbsc cashing beauty queen with uh, this thing, with uh, KBAC, that day, that night that they smashed, it was alleged that they smashed. Yes, after Queen Naomi came and uh, she ran away, she ran out of the palace because what she saw was not really, it was an eyesore for her. Yes, and after that, they said it was the following day also that uh, Queen Naomi also caught uh, Auntie Calabash trying to serve KBAC a beautiful garnished uh, tantalizing mouth watering bush meat that KBAC was almost eating before Queen Naomi came and started kabashing prayers they said after that day Esther Ajayi told Queen Naomi that she is prophesying that she saw something as in she was hallucinating yes it's not as if it was revealed but she saw it clear that one of these people are going to set a trap for her that one of these women are not really happy about what happened that she they put some sand for their gary that she they pour too much water for their gary that she they block their their way of getting to kbac they say she she's she a stumbling block that she's an obstacle on their way to meet kbac to achieve their evil aim in kbac's life my people they said KBAC was almost, almost caught with uh, this uh, uh, anti calabash. Almost, in fact, he don't they enter the trap. Say if they said Esther Jai told uh, Naomi that if had it been that uh, KBAC ate that meat, that the, what she will be seeing now is a different KBAC. That it will take a stronger prayer and fasting and going to the mountain in order to recover KBAC. My people, we really thank God say Queen Naomi came at the right time. So Reverend Ajayi is now telling Queen Naomi that one of these women is going to set a big trap for her, that they are not happy with her. My people, I beg, I forgot to greet her because I get a lot of things to talk where I know I'll make it come up from my head. I greet her according to the time this information is reaching you guys. I love you so much, my returnees. You guys are my real MVP. To my sus uh, upcoming subscribers, I beg. If you have not subscribed to this channel, subscribe because I have Wenge Obonge news for you. So let me get straight to what I come here to say, my people. They said uh, Astar Jai have told uh, Kab uh, Naomi that this thing is going to happen. Like, you can Naomi have it in mind. In, like, it's not something that she can wave away. No, it is not something that she can, she can maneuver it is bound to happen so that she will confirm that as what the prophetess of the most high is saying according to what we heard my people as it is rumored or as it's alleged i was not there but according to what i heard so my people they said on that fateful day queen naomi was moving out yes yeah, she was she wanted to drive out that she started feeling somehow she wasn't really feeling herself that she was feeling somehow she was feeling perhaps you know when they say somebody is feeling perhaps <laughs> you can understand 
So, but uh, the place she has to go is very important that she has to go. It's not something that she could avoid. My people, they said she was going on with her bodyguards. It's not as if she was going alone. Yes, that she was in one of the, uh, uh, the cars. So, all of a sudden, there was a car running out from the other side of the road. I don't know whether it's a T-junction or whether it's a, 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 a sharp bending. I wouldn't know. But they said the car was coming on a one way. My people, they said before they could say Jack, they don't jump bah, together. You know? And Quinomi was already feeling this that very early morning when she was about to leave. You know, she was feeling like to stay back. Yes, yeah, she said she was having that feeling that something is not going right. But then, what I like most about this Esther Jai prophecy that uh, she used to give to Naomi, she keep assuring Naomi that no matter what happened, no matter what terrible that happens, that there is no going to be a loss, that she will still come out and stand strong, that the enemies will fight, but they will never get her. So my people, that is exactly what happened though. Now, the point is, who among these Olores did this? Do you know? Do I know? Of course, I wouldn't know. If not that I will hear, as it is go it's going to be rumored, and it's going to be uh, alleged that uh, it is one of these people that did it. But the main point is that, uh, as Tajayi have already told uh, uh, Naomi, that it is between uh, uh, anti-beauty and anti-calabash. You know what I mean? that both of them that one of them is not happy and one of them is going to set a big trap for her but it will not get her and the person will regret and cry that this thing did not work out well i don't know what if what on earth had she done to deserve by because it's obvious that anyone that is planning this for her is planning for her to buy yes because the kind of crash they said that happened ah now if you see the cars Ah, eh, that is beyond repair. It is beyond repair, and everybody came out, both Queen Naomi's driver, both Queen Naomi herself. You know, so you know, Grace that uh, Queen Naomi has covered the driver, because if not, it would have been a smashed. You know, the the driver would have otilo. You understand? But then, nothing happened. No crash. They came out even the other people that uh, both of them jumped together there was no scratch on their body to show you this is to fulfill all whatever that uh, uh, ajayi said esther ajayi that they will come that the pit is already dug and kwenomi will, will enter that pit but will not stay she will want to enter but she in fact i don't know how they say she said it that that pit is already there but she's going to cross the pit yes that is what they said she said that she's going to cross that pit. It means, you know, uh, if they said she is going to enter, it means that uh, entering a pit means you are gone, that the thing has captured you. But mean seeing the pit, you know, there is another road you can pass, but you decided to, you don't know when you passed and cross, you know, just like when you see a good road. Instead of you to follow a good road, you go and follow a, a somewhere that there is pit. You keep jumping pit, jumping pit, when there is an alternative for you to follow another road. So that is what it means, that she will see the pit, she's going to jump it. Yes, my correct, correct people, it means the thing must surely come. It must surely come, but she is going to overcome. My people, that is how it is. Rumor though, that uh, the, she finally had that, uh, 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 that uh, the prophecy, a bit the hallucination way at uh, Esther Jai did, came to pass. But when Naomi, according to what exactly what Ajayi said, that it will never hurt her. It will never harm her. She's going to come out whole. And as so as she talk her, and as so it take happen. My people shook my for this matter. Which of the Oloris do you think that will be? They said, finally they said, Esther Jai said she is going to reveal the Olori that did this among the two. But in your mind, I don't know. At least we have mind, just as our faces are different, so our minds are different. What do you really think we have such a heart to go to that extent? to buy Olori Naomi. My people, comment on this uh, comment section. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And do not forget that all these are alleged information as I do not live in the palace. And remember, in every rumor, there is an atom of truth. All right, my wonderful people, you just have to hang around because 
I'll be bringing you more updates on this.